episode 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 Hmm. (laughs) (laughs) episode whenever this drops yeah (laughs) episode yeah that's it um how was your day today my day was good i actually cleaned Mm -hmm. i decluttered today like I came home from work and I was supposed to do it yesterday, but I don't know why yesterday I was just so sluggish. Like, it's not that I felt some type of way or anything. I just was tired. I don't know. This time change got me fucked up. Yeah. What about you? Like, by 6 o'clock, I'm ready for bed. I, it's just like it's so dark out so fast. And it's just like you feel like you're racing with time. No, And seriously. you feel like you need to be in bed immediately because then... Or you just feel like you just have to do everything before yeah, the like sun I goes feel like down. I'm in a I, rush. Is this kind of giving me already a little bit of like the seasonal depression, where I'm seeing the sun go down literally at, at like four something. Yeah, it's getting dark. I'm getting sad, and I don't like that. Well, it's crazy how sun really makes people happy. Yeah, it's the brightness in general. Like yeah. like when I'm in my room. And I'm cleaning and I'm doing whatever. I have to have my vanity lights on and my main light on. I have to have the the brightest room as possible because the moment I turn off one of those lights, I'm ready to just lay down and get lazy. Like, I'm just ready to just wind down. Like, my body just... So, yesterday, I tried so hard to get up and, like, do the decluttering that I said I was going to do. But instead of doing that, I just made a bigger mess and then said, you know what? I'm not forcing myself to do anything. Yeah. If my body just wants to lay down, I'm laying down. So that's what I did. But today, when I got home, I didn't even sit. I went immediately and I started, I took everything out the closet. Mind you, I knew we were going to film today. And I said, no, I'm going to film. I'm going to get ready. But I'm going to do this too. I'm going to yes. do both because there's no why reason. Why not? Like, why not? There's no reason as to why. I got I clean so I can't do nothing. Like no 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 no. And mind you, I'm not even fully done. Mm-hmm. But I had to like for myself. I had to manage to do both. No mm-hmm. matter how late I finish, no matter how tired I am tomorrow, I have to do. I had to do both. And when I get back home, I'm gonna finish. I'm not going to sleep until it's finished. And it's mostly finished. But I, I needed it to be. I want to wake up tomorrow, and I want to wake up to a very spotless room. Like. I'm even mopping the floor. Like, I need my room to smell, like, clean. Yeah. I've noticed something about myself, a change that... You prefer to clean in the morning? Been, like... No, I do, though. That I've been struggling with um, for... Since last year and some of this year of 2024. I didn't really speak about it, but... um, My body was really tired a lot last year and a little bit of this year and i couldn't figure out what it was and did you figure it out yeah so i recently lost a little bit of weight this crazy oh yeah i see where you're going and i couldn't figure what what was going on why i was tired maybe i think i was just depressed because i was heading like i was at a weight that i was just not really happy to be around but then also just like how like Taking care of yourself is so important. Yeah. And. And what you eat, because it all has to do with it. Yeah. And the crazy part is just like, I wasn't eating crazy. I wasn't just, I was just not por- like, po- like doing great right, portioning correctly. my food and then not burning it either. And then that's where I was getting kind of in like this cycle. And it's just because life was getting so busy for me. And life is changing and I have to accept who I am. Like I used to be. I I go I really beat myself up all the time about this how I used to be like a uh, active junkie and life just got so busy for me where I'm just working and like money is important to me in my life and too and it's just like balancing both and everything else is really hard but I'm like slowly getting into a place where like I'm okay my health is 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 important again and I I need to get back into certain routines and. Um, but yeah, I've noticed that ever since I lost a few like pounds, I have not been as like sleepy. I was like really tired and it was getting me like depressed where I just yeah. couldn't make it. And I couldn't do it. You're just and you just want to Yeah. I was Which just like. the opposite. Sometimes I don't eat enough and yeah. I'm just weak and I just want to lay down and I wake up and it's the same cycle that I'll just, my, 
my meal would be like at 12, 1 o'clock. And then I'm, I'm just, uh, to be honest, I'm just way too lazy to make a meal at 9, 10 o'clock at night. I don't want to do that. Like, I don't want to eat a heavy meal at that time. I wish, like, I wish that was my problem because I'm going to get up and I'm going to make myself. No, I'm going to just eat, like, an orange and, like, I feel like my body's, like, or a cracker. Like, yeah. anything quick so that I can fall asleep because falling asleep hungry is hard. But yeah. with any, like, fruit or something, I'm not full of nothing. I'm still hungry. But, like, I'm good enough. It was. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I'm too lazy to just cook something. It's just, I, I don't want to wake, I don't want to be sick if I eat something at night. Like, whatever so i'll just go to bed instead Mm -hmm. which was making me very sluggish today oh my god you know what i noticed today i made my shake i had a breakfast i had a um a good lunch and i had a dinner a dinner i had dinner and i'm good yeah yo what like making sure you like fuel your body is important we're like a car you know, we got to make sure that we're putting the right gas and whatever it is that we need in our bodies mm-hmm. to be able to run because yeah. without it, we ain't going nowhere. Your know, breakfast to me is like priority. It's tough for me. I love, I just love breakfast food. That's like my favorite food. Breakfast food is my favorite. So, um, but breakfast it's is so tough for me. Like I have my moments where I'll, I'll be consistent for like a month eating breakfast or eating two eggs and a shake or just a shake i mean a smoothie Mm -hmm. i'll be consistent like for the summer i was really consistent with it and now i kind of started doing it again today i I found a breakfast that because the thing with me and breakfast is that i'll do a hash brown an egg a hash brown an egg for like three weeks and now i don't want to see a hash brown and an egg in 10 years (laughs) yeah yeah that's my problem that was your summer thing hash brown hash brown and two eggs hot toast and tahini that's that was it in a shake and now i have um a thin bagel with cream cheese, tomatoes, and capers on top. Jeez, that's a fancy <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> and it smacks, but I already feel myself getting tired because I've been eating it every single day since Monday. Yeah. No, my ultimate, yo, I can eat this every day. That's I think that's why I gained so much weight because I was teeing. And I just had it recently for about two weeks, and I had to cut it. And I actually gained three pounds. So Whoa. it is a gain, a, a weight gainer. So be careful. If you're trying to uh, gain weight, this is my favorite breakfast. Sourdough bread, goat cheese. If you don't like goat cheese, it's okay. Um, avocado, the egg, uh, uh, sunny side up egg, and then you drizzle it with honey. Oh, my God. It's so smacking. It is so good, but you will. She gain. said the goat cheese comment because I hate goat cheese. Yeah, mm-hmm. I really didn't like goat cheese. It's not everybody's preference, so little do you know. It's like like a not, perfume. To me. It's like sour. But then it's again, like my taste buds are just. Everybody knows they're um, crazy after COVID. But oh my god, it's so good. But you will gain weight fast. So yeah, don't don't goat do it too is much. Like it's just the the avocado the already, and then the sourdough bread. Avocado like it just makes you gain, gain weight. It's a it's a car like it's a good car but like it, it has it's, it's a car it's, it's fatty it's fatty you know what let me be Avocado's quiet because I'm fatty. sound crazy man I didn't know it was so. a, it was a carb yeah but oh yeah because people make avocado that sounds like that it's fatty right. it's a yeah. <laughs> It's a fatty food. So all that combination every single morning, heavy, bro. A coffee heavy. You just move it heavy. Yeah, like you sugar. Can, you got to do that on like a nice Saturday, Saturday morning. morning. And go for a nice yeah, little walk. Yeah, and you go for a walk. Like you can't do a heavy ass sandwich and then go sit at a desk. <laughs> like Nah, that's, that can't. That can't happen, but. Try the try the thin bagel. Thin everything Yeah, bagel. I got to try the thin try everything bagel. Try cream cheese. Oof. That with, sounds great. Um some tomatoes fresh out of archie's um garden, <laughs> garden. i had fresh archie tomatoes <laughs> shout out to archie shout out to archie and um the capers it doesn't sound great but it's what is that because when you were saying it it's it just fancy <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i don't know what that so is so capers is like capers yeah so it's like <laughs> if I show you, you're gonna know. It, it's, it tastes like an olive, like a baby olive. It's like a, oh. o- it's like, imagine an olive and a mini olive, a baby olive. That's what it is. Oh. I'll show you a picture, and you're gonna know because our parents put like it in beans and stuff. You were saying that I was like, well, I don't, understand. I don't know. That's like saying you get, <laughs> like, uh, you when you go to like a fancy breakfast spot. It's good. Look, this is capers. You know what that is? I've never. 
Yeah, you oh have. yeah, yeah, yeah. Your yeah, mom yeah. has is to make habichuela and stuff. And Wait, so a baguette. So you, you just a baguette. So you just put that on top. Yes. Wow. It's so good. Let me show you. I gotta try it because that kind of sounds good. Bagel with cream cheese. And like, who put you onto that combo? Like yourself? No, I seen somebody do it on TikTok. I think it was like. And then I was telling my sister about it. She goes, yo, I make it all the time. It smacks. I'm like, oh, shit. People usually do it with, uh, like, raw salmon. Did I say salmon? Is it salmon? Yeah, yeah salmon. it is salmon. That's you all know, I'm thinking. You know, <laughs> salmon. You know, Spanish Because you know how much I'm a little salmon? Salmon. <laughs> no, some, no the, you know what it is? That the other day, somebody tried to correct, not me, somebody else that said salmon. Somebody said salmon, and I'm like, you're wrong. But they said salmon? I don't remember who it was. But, yeah. um... Nah, guys, so look, don't be coming at people, like. though, about it either, because sometimes, like, in the Spanish that's language, the it's called salmon. Yeah. That's Ooh, what it, what it the salmon, okay. but I don't do the same because I'm not doing overall, no. They call that, they call that something else, like, the, the that kind of sliced cold salmon. They yeah. Called it, they call it something it's else. smoked salmon. Yeah, thing. smoked salmon. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Black people be like, nah. It's very much so. <laughs> it's not cooked. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not eating that like that. But obviously, I don't yeah. put all that. Oh my god, that looks it, good. But that's pretty much what it is, and it sounds funny, money, but it's smacking. yeah. When I open my coffee shop, <laughs> that's gonna be on the menu. <laughs> it's very good. It's a delicious. I recommend on a thin bagel because I mm -hmm. hate anything thick. Um. Wow. But anyways, damn, we went into deep thought of breakfast. Yeah. And 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 fueling yourself that was good yeah so you know what if you're listening to this right now and it's not morning and tomorrow's the day that you want to wake up and make yourself great breakfast then do that yeah with a nice a smoothie make sure you throw in yeah. um some nice powders in there when i say powders i mean like um moringa yeah moringa is <laughs> a good one i actually put that in mine i put i have um this matcha Thing. it's not great but it's good for you i have a whole bunch of bunch of blends of stuff I, and i put that shit all in there and i have some fresh sea moss and i put it all in there and it doesn't taste the great the greatest but i feel good yeah like my body feels good it yeah. doesn't taste good but you can't be thinking about the taste mm -hmm. all the time you just gotta swallow that shit and feel good yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of things that. You well, know, today I was drinking my smoothie and I was not tasting. I was swallowing it. Yeah. Like it was just so nasty. It tastes fishy because of the. Tomorrow we like tomorrow. Let's let let like. Do we want to do carbs for lunch? Do we want to do salad? Because it's be been honest, carby. It's been. It's a little, been very carby. Been but so we had salad yesterday. A little soup and salad. <laughs> Yeah, we did have soup and we salad. We had some carbs with it, too, but we had a little soup and salad. Yeah, we had shit. donuts at the end. Oh, shit. All the donuts. <laughs> yeah, soup, salad, and donuts. It was a balance. Where do you think we Life went? It's about a balance. Soup and salad. Lemon soup box. Soup and salad. Where is that at? <laughs> My mom calls it Ol um, Mama Oliver Garden. Oliver. She calls it Oliver. Oh, she's so cute. But also, we want to talk about... The we re what we really wanted to talk about uh, is the situation going on with Hallie and DVG and how people were bashing Hallie on the internet about her comment on Twitter that she made about her not knowing that her son was on a live stream on Kai, <laughs> on Kai Sinat's yeah, uh, live, stream. live stream and in front of millions of people. Um, and then things happened where she deactivated her account. Mm -hmm. um, people were coming because people were coming at her, and, and that's very new for yeah. people to come at her because no, come come on, yeah. nobody comes at Hallie. Hallie has the yeah. most respect mm -hmm. in general. She carries herself with a lot of respect, so that's what that's what she receives a lot of yeah. respect. So it was very different that people were actually coming at her because usually it's DDG getting all the bash the bashing. He's used to it. He don't give a fuck. I'm sure, but. It was just different this time, and mm -hmm. it was probably tough for her to handle that she um, deactivated all of her accounts for a little bit because it was a lot. Because people, yeah, because for I her to deactivate, was, no, I'm not like, gonna lie though. Like for the first, I am. Let me say, I am a Hallie fan. Like I love yeah. Hallie. Like Hallie is just 
like I love her. She's such a sweet person for what it seems like. Obviously, I don't know her personally. I, I'm obsessed with her voice. Like, she sings like a freaking angel. And she just looks, seems like a great person. Somebody mm-hmm. to look up to, even though she's younger than me. Yeah. You know? Um, but for that for that moment, I was just like, damn. Like, I kind of was thinking about him. Like, damn, how m- must he feel? Like, that he's such a good father. And um, he kind of, it almost felt like he had to ask permission. Not permission, because she didn't say, oh, ask me permission, but it kind of came off like that a little bit. Like, you have to tell me where my son's at, which rightfully so. But I just feel like sometimes dads don't get grace because us women, I don't have any kids yet, but us women, we carry our babies. And um, I don't know, you just feel like they're just more yours. And it, we ha- we have to be honest, like a majority of the times it's OK for mothers to make certain decisions without notifying the father. But the father has to ask permission for absolutely everything that they do. Right. Obviously, it's not and like not that. Permission, in every but had to make, relationship. Had to make a, another parent aware of things. Right. When it don't be the same. Right. When the, the baby is with the mom. Like, yeah. I'm like sure. OK. I'm sure that I, um, all these parents will say, hey, I'm going to go to the park with um little Jimmy. Hey, um, little Jimmy is gonna is is and me are at my sister's house. Or hey, especially if if the relationship is separated. Like now, if you're still in a relationship, it's 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 easier to communicate because like as as your partner, you want to know where your partner is at. Like you know what I'm saying, and your baby. But when you guys are separated, like you have to trust the fact that the baby is with the other parent. Yeah, and that's pretty much that. And it's tough. I know I'm gonna have a tough time, so I don't want to like, I don't want to judge because. You know, I, I'm not a parent yet, but I know that, I, that I'm going to have a tough time myself because it's just like when you carry your baby and like she had mentioned, she had mentioned like that she's still going through um, postpartum. Like when you carry your baby and you want to know, like you want to know your baby's safe at all times. So mm-hmm. I get it. It's not that I don't get it, but I just feel bad for the men sometimes. Yeah, I, I feel both both parties. And you know what it is? What's so beautiful about um DDG is the fact that he didn't go to the internet to have a discussion or be petty because that is the mother of his children and he's understanding and now processing like he can't feel feel what she's feeling and he probably sees her character being completely different something out of out of the out of that, the norm that for that character for yeah her. because yo us women we really go through we go through post postpartum mm-hmm. and this is a real thing and sometimes it lasts I, up like to three honestly years like too. it doesn't go away and, and we talk, oh, I had a baby in, in one month I'm gonna be straight like no nah, it we takes talk a while about, we talk about like what women like go through inside it's like so and un- we can't explain it because yo even for my period it's like my emotions are out of whack they're just all over the place yo it's me and it's just like imagine that to me when when i'm on my period the week before the week is going away at this point to me it's just embarrassing to have my period because of my own actions having that support that you're understanding what the person's going through that's all you really look for like like it's not where nobody's saying oh my god like they can be you could literally be like yeah she's just not feeling well but just having the understanding of yes yeah, like my she's dad not my dad well. is the prime example of when i used to get my period and this is off topic i'm gonna go quick it's like he used to be like that's natural that's women i mean that's a woman thing all women get it i want you to clean your room regardless well meanwhile i'm dying with cramps and i'm dying and i'm moody and i'm hormonal and i'm i want to cry for no reason like just harsh Mm -hmm. like that's what i that's why i I take it so serious when like especially because this is this is worse than men when other women don't explain it i just seen a video on tiktok saying i can't stand when girls exaggerate their periods like it's not that serious it doesn't even hurt that bad i want to like punch her through the screen no bullshit yeah. i'm not gonna lie like, <laughs> i got like, so offended with that comment being another woman just because you don't get it that bad does not mean that other people don't get it that bad like that shit offended the fuck out of me like don't ever talk like yeah. that like you're a girl bro mm-hmm. like and it's so crazy that she will give breath and her whole her whole thing can change your cycle can change literally at any moment. At any moment. So it's like, it's so ignorant when other women don't understand this whole period shit. And if you don't get cramps, you still get moody. Like, it's always it's either one or the other. Or just supporting. Like, that's one thing. Like, 
you know, supporting women, we have to just really stick together sometimes and support each other because we constantly fight a battle just to even explain anything. Like, this is you something can't that explain we it. That's the shit. Right. You can't. All you could really do is warn your loved ones around mm-hmm. you. Like, yo, I'm getting my period. So if you see I'm getting a little snappy, if you like everybody at my job knows that when I come in with my headphones in, don't talk to me. Like when I when I am already walking in the building and I walk in the out, um, the, the office and my he- headphones are on. Don't talk to me. I'm not in the mood. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows that means Abby's getting her period because I com- I communicated. Like, I'm not in the mood. It's out of my control. I may have attitude. I may cry. Please don't take it offensively. Like, that's what I try to do as a human. I mean, as a girl that tries to understand the other person. Like, I'm just in this mood. I can't help it. I try to control it as much as I can. The most I can do for you is tell you yeah. what's, what's going to happen. I'm about to get a little crazy, emotional, and the whole nine. That's all I can do. Now, if I do it and you just do your own thing, that's on you at this point. Right. Because I, I did my part. Yeah. Like, so, like, explain to me how, like, obviously, you've seen me multiple times have my period. Like, what how, what are, like, the steps of me, like, all right, she's getting her period. <laughs> because like sometimes you know you know you don't be aware of shit but i know what i'm i know but like it's like funny hearing it from other people <laughs> like you've seen how a parent just went inside the thing like you probably would have came at her back wait who which one victor's mom oh oh yeah you probably would have came at her back like you just you won't let it go <laughs> yeah that's pretty much yeah. what you do that like you just won't let it go you're just yeah. you you typically you'll be like oh yeah i don't give a fuck like whatever <laughs> but you just will be like Okay, and or you'll say something like you'll just yeah. not back even I'm, if it doesn't yeah. even make sense in the yeah. in the thing. Like you just <laughs> like if not, like it'll be something. It'll be like a I don't even know a debate or something, and you'll just continue. You see how Sky was that day? Like Sky was a mirror of how you act on your period. That she was not letting it go. It's not fair. It's not fair. Yeah. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. Like no, I'm like she was not letting it go. That's how you act on your period. I be ten. Like no, but hold on, wait. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> yeah i feel like i nitpick at everything no i don't say nitpick, i but do you just won't I let do. it go at that thing but then you'll be like i'm getting my you know what i'm just gonna say i'm getting my, i have my period i'm so sorry everybody it's just my period <laughs> i know it's true and me i'm just irritated i'm yeah I'm, irritated everything irritates me. yeah the patience is my, very low sometimes like my mood is normal but my i'm just ir- yeah. irritated like i can go from zero to a not a thousand a million a billion and like it'll be like the, the, the woman's it'll be like the woman scooping the rice why you gotta scoop it like that <laughs> like hurry up <laughs> she's over here chatting like hurry up i'm hungry like my <laughs> like my food's getting cold <laughs> no literally like i just get irritated and then it's like not food and abby period all that in the same sentence <laughs> yeah. what about like if i'm lost i can't find that i just remember <laughs> recently i can't find this fucking address i was going crazy <laughs> because and, and i was crying like, yeah yeah hold yeah. on yeah where is it <laughs> i was like yeah i was like uh, yeah just tell me where the place is and yeah. like she mind you she's all the way in another city tell me where the place is and i'm like <laughs> and mind you hold on i didn't even tell you but because <laughs> i always do this and then feel wow stupid and i'm like hold on like let me see if i can find it but i was already there because i just felt so stupid to admit it that i actually found it but i found it illegally like i had to go through a one way and break rules and that's why i couldn't find it because the thing is that i went in like five circles and it just kept telling me to get out the car and walk and i was pissed at the gps arguing like what you mean get out and walk like right. no what you mean right. i've been here a million times yo <laughs> that's <laughs> like and like if not like one thing I hate on my period, I can't be ignored. I'm a I'm a oh turn into God. Dracula, the Tasmanian yeah. devil. Um, um, what else? Uh, the, freaking, what's that? What's that movie we just watched with the snake per, the person that was in Venom? The Venom people, the <laughs> alien, anything that spazzes, that has spasm, that's what I'm gonna turn into yeah. on my period. I have zero patience, and if I think to say something, I'ma say I'm impulsive as fuck. Nothing is stopping me. That's why when I send messages now 
to anybody, I'm gonna send it through Instagram where I could think I have the time to think about it and unsend yeah, it. Yeah, I gotta start doing I that have, because it's bad. It's, it's not looking good. For yeah, me. text message has to give you more time to unsend things because then I'd be like, it's not looking good. Like why is I messages? Just yesterday. <laughs> So it's the Yun sent ten me- uh, messages. I said, "Wait, you can see it through uh, through Apple? That's fucked up, oh, Apple. Well. Like through the iPhone. Like if you unsend through the iPhone, it still stays there that you unsend. You unsend. It says, yeah, this person unsent the message. I don't like that. Damn, Apple's just messy. Snitching. Apple's but. messy. That's why I like Instagram. Instagram, Ugh. you just unsend it. You be like, whoa, whoa I'm bugging. Because it'd be happy. This is the bullshit. That in five minutes, you'd be like, why am I even crying? What the fuck? Like, cough. And you're looking at yourself in the mirror like, I'm fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fire. Why am I crying? And then two seconds later, you're putting a sad, music, a sad song to make you cry. Because yeah. it'd be that psychotic. Yeah. Periods are that psychotic. So back to the point. If periods are that psychotic where you're just like, Forcing yourself to cry and putting a sad song. I put the same sad song and I cry every time. Yeah. And I believe it in my head that I'm not sad about something that I don't truly even care about. So imagine postpartum. But this is the thing that even though I don't care that I'm that that I'm not really sad about it, I want you to like support me. <laughs> if don't if I don't me. make no sense. Like I remember I called, I was on the phone with my ex. Um, and, um, I was like sad and he could tell that I was sad and I was like, we're just having a regular conversation and I forgot what I started crying about. And I'm like, yeah, because I just want you to like, like talk to me. Like you don't want to talk to me. Send me a red heart or something. And like I was pouring and he goes, it's okay, mama. Like, it's all right. Like I'm here. Like I'm not going to go nowhere. And I was like, oh my God, that's so nice. I'm about to cry. But it was like something within, I don't remember exactly, but it was just like, I I was just crying. I don't have my period and I'm not getting it yet. I just got off it. And those words, that was yeah, so, so nice. Yeah, so nice. And I was like, like we just want to be babied. Yeah. And it's just like, I... I'm never <laughs> fucking... You know what? I, I don't know why I'm so ñoña. Like, literally, ñoña, guys, in... That's Domin- that's Dominican slang, right? I, get, I think so. It's like, you're just like a little, like a little baby. You turn into a little baby. And you just... My mom be like, you got you get your period, I'm like... Because I just complain. <laughs> that's my problem. That's very annoying. That's one thing that's very annoying about me. It's a trait that I have to fix. I just come. I'm a complainer. <laughs> I complain about why do I have to pump gas? I complain about why the fuck are my neighbors parking there? I compl- <laughs> no, I don't like how, I don't like how your neighbors park. Like they're, they will get. They're obnoxious. <laughs> like just, just me. And then honestly, the cars like, kiss. Like, why are the cars <laughs> kissing? <laughs> If I'm down Abby's block and I got my period and I see those two whips, I would be tight too. They be like this. Let me show you guys. This the is kiss, one car. Bro. Like this is the front, right? The headlights are looking at each other. It's head on. This is the front, and they're just there like this. Not even head on. on. One is not on the right side, and it just pisses you off because they're actually a couple too. So it's like, how in love can you be? What the fuck? Even your car's gotta be in love? Damn. Yeah, just chill. If not, another thing that pisses me off is when my landlord, my landlord, they park outside the garage. Go, when they have a garage. Go in the garage. Right. Go, because now you're throwing a party, and now your guest is outside, and so are you. Where am I parking? Now I take up the whole, you know what I do? I park in the middle of the parking lot. Nobody's getting out or nobody's coming in yeah. now, and I don't give a fuck. And I'm, don't wake me up. <laughs> Last time I did that, I was on my period, and my mom woke up in the middle of the night to move the car. <laughs> she's like, "Cause it's like, why do you have to do stuff like that?" I'm like, "Cause why do they have to like?" She's like, "I couldn't sleep because I know like, I know that the people are gonna. The, what about if the neighbor wants to leave? I don't give a fuck. Fuck you and your party and your cars." Yeah, I do. I do a lot. I will get the manager. <laughs> at a store yeah. like, remember when I, call- I was like a manager queen at a point <laughs> remember when I called corporate on AutoZone <laughs> I called corporate on AutoZone because I waited 30 minutes in a line for a freaking screw for the license plate oh my I was God. fucking livid and they treated me like royalty after that shit yeah I walked yeah. in I was, my, I was a Karen you have to get you have to get like that I, when we was in New York and the girl at the the the, the remember the, the self checkout 
I don't know if I had my period, but the lady at the self checkout was like pissing. At yeah, Zara was, in New York, they have like self checkout, but there's still somebody kind of like observing the area. And there was this girl who was doing a return and needed help, and the person was so rude to her. She was so mean. And I snitched, and I don't care. I'm going to snitch you. Whenever I see people not being kind, I'm going to snitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was rude, though. She was a bitch. I was like, I don't know who's there back there, but she's not being nice. I don't care. Be yeah, nice. It be there, yo. It, yo. And moral of the story is, like, let's include our dads. Include the dads and stuff. Include dads. Let dads take, take, take days off from work to, so they could take care of their baby. But only, though, hold on, because I'm going to go back to Sis Halley right now. I mean, I'm going to go back to DDG. Only if you're treating, like... You see how he replied? Like, so basically, she said what she said. Everybody was bashing her. And he knew that he wasn't wrong for what he did. He didn't go online to bash her. He didn't go online to, to, to be petty, mm -hmm. to add fuel to the fire. Nobody around him was even allowed to add fuel to the fire, to even say mm -hmm. comments. Like, none of that. Yep. And then the next day, when she collected herself and she realized that she was tripping a little bit, she... She said it like I was tripping. I know he's a great dad. She gave him his flowers, whatever, whatever. But he didn't come online and say, yeah, I know I'm a good dad. This, that, and the third. She was tripping. None of that. He still came at everybody, even though he knew he was right and she was tripping because, you know, of her postpartum or whatever. He said it like I don't understand what women go through. So I am going to treat the situation with as, with, with as much grace as possible. It's just like, <laughs> kudos to you, DDG, because men don't fucking think like no, that. They men don't. do not think like that. They don't. They, they just think that you're just like, she's tripping. She's crazy. This, like, that's my son, too. Women are always tripping. A lot of men, let me tell you, this is like out of topic a little bit. A lot of men do these behaviors that are kind of crazier than women, and <laughs> they don't get crucified for it. It's like you, you. Um, I think us women are just more vocal about things. I think that's why we just look crazier. Yeah, that's true. And 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 we're and another thing that we do that's kind of crazy is I'd be like, he said he said I can't go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He said, and then if, imagine though the other way around, if you be like to to your man, nah, you can't go to that party, but man. <laughs> Like, he's going to go, but us, yeah. we be real dumb sometimes. We be on some dumb shit, like, nah, I can't go because, you know, we my don't stay home. My but man, I feel man, like there's still certain uh, still level of respect of, like, he want, he doesn't want you to be, he don't want you to go to that, and it's just like, all right, all right, but not for everything. I'm very obedient. Like, you know what I mean? It's cool. It's cool, but, you know, sometimes. For the most part, we th we think stuff certain things are cute when right, we should and when right, we should check yeah. it. Yeah. You know, like we're, yeah, whatever. But the point is that I love the fact that he came out and said, no matter what, don't put, don't try to put us against each other. I love her. That's the mother of my child. We're going through something right now. She's going through something right now. Don't talk shit about her. Point blank, period. I love that. That's like, that's like, that's what I love. I know. I wish people because would stop talking people so much shit about him. Because I am like, I'm a DDG fan. I feel like. He has grown so much. He has taught a lot of people. He's put his family on. Like, damn, why people hate him so much? I don't get it. It's because when he was the with inter Hallie, the internet is just like that. The internet hates on anything. Damn, why are people hate him? Anything. Like, anything. I feel like he got good music when he was with Hallie. He, mm -hmm. from what we saw, because from what they show, we don't know their lives, what they went through, nothing. But from what we saw, he treated her amazingly. He speaks very highly of her. He um makes sure he makes. Sure, everybody around respects her and doesn't do certain things around her. Like, why do people hate this man so bad? I don't get it. Yeah. I don't get it. He's, I don't he's, get it. He's, he's intelligent. Very, he's he puts people humble. on. He's not a hater. He's very, very humble, let me tell you. Like, he does... If you follow DDG, he has never From been... From day one. He's always been like, yeah, I was, He's confident about himself. Yeah, he loves himself. But he never puts anybody down about what's going on in their life. He actually helps a lot of people. Unless you to, come for him. Try to, yep. You come for him, he's coming for you back. Tries to put people, put people in certain positions and just make people, 
you know, the best version of themselves. And I feel like... I don't see what's wrong with that. Like, I'm, I I be like, damn, like, especially when Tim and Hadi got together, I was just like, oh my God, I freaking love them. They're mm-hmm. so freaking cute. I was so hard, I was so heartbroken when they broke up, but I just I don't think that understand. I just Honestly, who People knows? Really it's their hating. personal stuff and... You don't know again what they're yeah doing like they're that's just, just like, that's that's their business but I just mm-hmm. don't excuse me I I'm like damn like people really hate this man for no reason mm-hmm. like oh she needs to break up with him our little mermaid are this or that like do you guys think she's gonna be with a person and have a child with a person that ain't shit right that treats her bad like come on speaking about him at this point. Like, he is a reflection of her now. Like, Mm -hmm. that's who she was with. That's who she chose to be the father of her child, whether it was planned or not. Like, that is all, that is a reflection of her now. So now when you talk shit about him, you're automatically talking shit about her because that's who she chose. Guys, it's very important. This is one thing that's very important, guys. And this is advice for anybody that potentially will be my husband in the future. Listen, family business always stays within us. Absolutely. Our problems, relationship problems, always stay within us. When we are around people, we always behave as everything is okay. And we don't speak about our problems to other people. Unless it's like a close friend that you need advice from. But it's not sitting at a table with friends talking about, my girl, my girl my me this. off. No, no, no. Oh, Keep my- your problems and always talk highly of your partner wherever you are and wherever you go. That is gonna give you a lot of respect, a lot of respect. It's just, it's just. No matter what you're going through, you have to talk. It's just a classy, respectful thing. Yes. That's just how I am. That's how I was raised, and that is that. We don't, we don't. I don't talk about my family problems to the world. Is that you know what's crazy? That I could be, I could be, in very bad terms with the person, Mm -hmm. and. I still, I still won't allow nobody to talk any shit. Like, get the fuck out of here. Talking mm-hmm. shit about m- the person that's with me is automatically talking shit about me. I don't care about how pissed I am at that moment. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to get so offended. That's going to piss me off. Yep. I don't care. Like, nah. Whether whether we're on good terms or not. Yep. Like, nah. It's like, that's, that's, why, that's why I don't like to discuss my business. I don't. Yep, me either. I really me don't. Either. My family don't know shit. Like, nobody knows <laughs> shit. Yeah. Nope. Like, like, I don't want to... That's not your business. It's not your business what I'm going through with somebody. No. Because um, cause it, it's so crazy that, let's say, a family member could even be defending me and saying, oh, no, fuck that. This, that, and the third. Don't talk about my person. Mm-hmm. It's the same rule applies, like, if your person was to be talking, like, yo, your mom's bugging. Don't talk about my mom. Yeah. I don't care if my mom's right or wrong. Don't talk about my mom. I'll handle my mom. You don't say no comments. You keep your comments to yourself. Yeah. Same thing applies when with my when my my other half. Mm-hmm. Like it's just no. I could talk my shit, but nobody else can. Yep. Like that's how it always should be, and that's that is such a great. And I think that postpartum is 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 taking over for Hallie right now, and I and I hope she recovers from everything that yeah. she's going through, and that you know um, it leaves um, soon, and she finally feels like herself again mm-hmm. um and i'm not saying i don't know what she's going through and i don't know but if she that, feels like herself that is again, very out of like, character for you her. know she i just hope that shit. she feels okay and i'm glad that she has somebody like ddg who still supports her and still speaks of her highly even through through situations that's making her not look so well you know what yeah I mean? so and i love that she took accountability too mm-hmm. that's fire so um everybody mind your fucking business mm-hmm. leave them people alone even if they comment even yep. if they post it on the internet, even though I commented too, I'm not gonna lie, I commented on something. I forgot what I said. I was defending the both of them. Yeah. Like mind your fucking business. Right. Just because I'm a fan of both. But anyways, this episode was a little long, and we're gonna conclude now. I know it went scattered a little bit, mm-hmm. but um, you know that's just how we do it yep. over here. We're not gonna change. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Peace.